Hello, and welcome to the Grinstar coverage of Scalar 3.2. I am probably going to do a very bad job of describing this as I normally do, and normally, most of the time, when I do these things, I don't like to learn anything about the product before I do it. I just try to get an overall type of feel for it, and then run through it as fast as I can. Which does a terrible job. If you uh, if you want more of it, there are other videos, especially by the people that make this thing themselves. Does an excellent video, but there are some really cool features that I personally like. I like the fact that you can actually do the variations within this right here. So if I want sevenths, I want thirteenths. I can do it right here. And it changes to whatever skill I do and it and it does it if I wanted to do something more to the genres it would, I could do it up here or I could do it down here let me grab a few so I can mix, mix and match chords it's pretty cool most of the features for the, the new 3.2 are going into what I consider like Scalar becoming a DAW unto itself or something that will help you out by you can probably do this uh, a lot dollars they have user tracks that can record stuff now MIDI that comes in um, and they got something in there that if I can remember how to create a track there we go they got Russians and there's something called Div yeah Div Divisi. So so basically, a couple of videos ago, I wanted to split a chord into uh, into three of its own voicings. So if I got a tri a tri a tri chord or you know, three notes into a chord, split into high, mediums, and lows. Anyways, this one does it. It kind of only grabs the the track. the The thing that I'm looking at is in the video where I saw this, he kind of was able to give more information onto which of the notes that he wanted to split. And I kind of don't see that here on this track. Maybe I have to add another one. There it goes. Oh, it's in the note. So if I move it up to, to two, then I'll start doing the second note. And then I can use different sort of voicing. So uh, maybe orchestra string. Now when I play it's 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 bound to the main track but if you play it All right, let me grab this one. This one needs to be two vintage keys. As you can see, there's two notes that are playing when it plays plays the things, and it's only playing the the top two notes because I told it to do one and two. There you go. You select this sucker right here, and it'll do it. Another thing that they added is, um, see if I can get it right. These things right here, which allow you to like clips and Bitwig, allow you to create your own clips, and then you can move them around. You can copy them. I think he had a alt. It's alt to copy it. You hold down the alt key, it copies the thing, and you can mess around with it and do arrangements. And this is why I'm considering this more becoming a doll than a, than than anything else. Uh, it's it's getting majorly into that kind of interesting stuff so that you can arrange, you do all your stuff, you got all your voices, you got your mixer, you got your MIDI editor. How is this not a DAW? Uh, of course, there's probably a, a hundred other reasons why it's not a DAW, mostly because you probably don't record audio, but you can record MIDI. So another another thing in here, if I can get this down here, is user tracks. And user tracks are empty, but it has this record button, which means that if I if I press the play and then I start pounding on my keyboard. It 
recorded. And then there's looping, which you have a loop just like in Bitwig or any other DAW. You got cut. You can do all kind, all kinds of things now that you can do in and scalar, uh, and and be able to arrange, be able to loop, be able to play around. It it's become quite interesting. So although I find it that uh, you can't play around with the voicing on the tracks, just the main one. That's very interesting. Not really though. It's fine. on loop. There we go. That's controlled by this thing right here. So if I want a shorter loop. Makes it really interesting. Really interesting. The Divisi allows to do what I was trying to do in a couple other videos, which was separate the chords into different tracks. So now I can have like this is the the second one. So maybe instead of the second one or the first one, sorry. Oh look at it highlights which notes that we're talking about in here. I guess the maximum is five. There we go. added another track with the rhythms here. And that, and 
I've not even left Scalar and I got I got a whole accompaniment and now I could just introduce the uh drums or whatnot. Let's try XO. I've I've been I've been using the the default bitwig drums for a bit. Let's change it up a bit. track pretty cool pretty cool pretty easy pretty intuitive i like it and with the, just just a kite slight modifications a couple of drag and dropping and and pretty much uh the stuff and we uh we are we are going to town Way too much fun. And like I said, it's like a dog. I got the mixer. You got all the effects on there. What more can you ask for? There's a MIDI routing too, which if you needed it, I'm I'm wondering if last thing I promise on here. Yeah, I don't see it. You can you can trigger external MIDI devices now also through it. And I have a few MIDI devices, but they're not hooked up right now. And I I, I don't want to go through the. I don't want to make sure that they're. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's 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 keep those let's keep those away. But you could apparently reroute this thing and all these tracks out different MIDI MIDI uh, pipes, these MIDI output channels, so that you can route them out or MIDI output devices or send them out. Like I could send them through my different devices here for my um, audio interfaces is what these are. Or I can send them out to the channel so I can go to my keyboard or my my uh, external synth, my my like my VS Profit clone could come back in and I could send this track out to my my profit and then I come back in through the thing and then I could just have the external keyboard playing uh, that if it's listening to it on that track, which I know it's not. Or is it? <laughs> oh, all right. Now, now, I, now I need to find it. Hold on. I got it going. So the MIDI is going out to my hardware 
thing going into the VS Pro. For some reason, I couldn't get it the, the MIDI routing to, to work with the... Like, like, doing this did not actually go to the correct MIDI source, but that MIDI is still being routed and it's still going to 4, so eh, it works. <laughs> But, I mean, my, my Pro VS MIDI picks it up, and it, it, it's working perfectly. So, to, to demonstrate that... I'm changing the presets on it. Kind of weird. At any rate. Let's stop it. And at any rate, this has gone on way too much longer. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. The new the new Scalar 3 is awesome. Uh, I really do like the, 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 the additions that they made, the new changes, uh, especially with the, the VCs, the uh, and then the user notes, uh, almost like a da, I should say. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing, and I will catch you later.